Hi everyone, how are you doing today? We are back here on Melbury Estate with our whole crop harvest and we're going to definitely get it done today. I've got this tractor on the go as well because we're going to set up course play and that way it means I won't have to keep stopping and the harvest will work but it's keep going as well so it should make the whole job a lot easier and also I'm in the mood to do a bit of course play because I haven't really done too much of it so I think it'd be a good opportunity to use it and we're going to have to use it also on something on the silage pit because we need something to clamp it. Now currently, because we've put so much in there, it's actually reached its limit and we couldn't actually put any more in without clamping it. So that is a job for something, but I don't know what yet because we don't have a telehandler, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, but we're going to try and get something on the clamp very soon. So I've not done this for a while. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it is that one. And we want to start the recording. Although I will just set the combine first. There we go. And I think everything else is okay. Yep. So let's start the course recording. Now, it might be a little bit difficult because we ha actually have to reverse into the silage pits, which I've never done before with whole crop, but I have done before with the actual, um, you know, maize harvest silaging. So we should be okay, but as it is such a tight yard, I'm not going to guarantee this is actually going to work. Also, we've got traffic on the road. We only have to go on the road for, what is that? I don't know, 20 metres? But we may still have a problem with traffic, so I don't know. We'll just see. But fingers crossed, things are going to run smoothly today. Okay, so I've just been playing around and trying to set the course up. I'm hoping that I've done it correctly. So all I can do really is wait for this tractor to get to the tipping point. I'm not driving this. This is on uh, course play. I didn't really know the best way of doing it. I may have messed it up by adding a weight point. So if I have, it's no problem. I'll just do it all again. And uh, let's just see. Just got to see what it does. And then if it does work, we'll go and get another machine and start clamping the pit. Okay, this is the true test. I don't think it will work. I'm sure I did something differently to last time. I'll just jump out the tractor. Hmm. Yep, already something wrong there. Seriously wrong. So, I'll do it all again, and I think I know what I've done, so... One second. So here I go again, but this time with... The New Holland. Uh, this is actually the best tractor to do it with anyway because it's obviously bigger and if I was to put this one on course plate I need to make sure I'm not going to clip anything. And it's also faster which makes it easier to actually do the course. Let's make sure I stay on the road. In cab is definitely easier. Staying on track. But yeah, I'll just uh, go up to the farm do it again. I don't think I put a weight point. I don't think you do. And I must remember to put it into reverse. I think that is what the problem was before. It was trying to turn around instead of just reverse back. So apparently there is a mod which allows you to harvest a crop, whole crop harvest, before it's actually ready. For some reason Farming Simulator only lets you do it when the crop is ripe, which I'm told is not when it should be done. So I may download that mod and do it properly. Now we want to be, unfortunately we're going to have to drive over this. It will be flatter than that when we've clamped it, but at the moment it's a bit steep. And we should probably go about there, because we will be clamping this down, so it should make it easier. So without a weight point, let's just hope that works. 
Someone also had a very good suggestion as well. It was to harvest the field with a combine harvester, but then use the forage harvester with the pickup and throw the straw into a trailer and turn that into silage, which is obviously worth a lot more than just straw. Now, as I've never done that, I don't even know if it works, but apparently it does, so we'll definitely have to give that a go at one stage. If you're desperate for money, that really does sound like a very good way of making fast money. Because not only are you getting the grain, you're also getting a very expensive silage out of it. So I will have to do that. Right, we'll just head down here, and there's our field. You can see how much we've done. We're getting there, slowly. With the course play, it'll make it much easier. We've got so many other fields to do as well. I'm thinking that either a sugar beet or a potato harvest would be in order with this map. It seems that I haven't done that for a long time and it seems like a very appropriate map to do that on. So I think that will be coming up in the near future. I mean it's been a long time since I did a proper harvest of sugar beet or potatoes. I think it must have been on Woodside. It's been ages. Oh and the compost as well. I need to do some composting. Now we better take this tractor back, it made it all the way here. We've just tipped a load. I would imagine we'll pass the New Holland on the way back because for some reason it always wants to drive the course prior to actually going to the harvester. I don't know why, but it does seem to. Um, even when you set the automatic search or the actual manual search for the harvester, it still seems to do it. I really do not know why it does that. But not to worry, we'll get this one going. This one can start to follow the harvester around. And uh, depending on how the timing seems, we might even be able to get both the tractors doing this route. It's a one-way road, and that tractor is coming this way. So we'll just reverse back into here. There is an opening. No, no, no there it comes. And we'll get down to the field. So as I set the course play up on the other tractor, we now need to put it onto this one. I saved it as field 15, as that is the field number. Oof. And we'll load that up and we'll get it going when we get to the field. Make sure we're on the same course, yep. And there we go. We should now be able to do some proper harvesting. Well, it seems to be working well now, so we'll leave it like that. I'll stay in the New Holland until we have to go and get something to clamp the silage with, which will be when this is full. Because we've just started in the other silage pit, so that one's filling up. It should all fit in both of them, so we shouldn't have any trouble there. But as you can see, it is pretty much just this square remaining. It has taken longer than I thought it would, but when you look at the header, it isn't really that big, so I guess I should have expected that. bit of a problem with the pylon because for some reason the harvester doesn't seem to avoid them it just goes straight into them and the auto combine usually manages to spot stuff like that and it goes around it but for some reason these pylons it just crashes straight into them so <laughs> I just have to do it manually luckily there's only two and one's already sorted
just looking on the minimap, you can see that the Deutz Agro Star is on its way back now. I've noticed that the map isn't actually totally aligned. When you're driving on the road, you're in the field. It's not too far off. The only reason we've got that curve there is because of that pylon. When we went round it, it obviously made that shape and it's it's kept that shape all the way in, all the way through the field. Because it just follows it, it doesn't do a straight line. Now we should see the tractor coming down the road there sometime soon. Where is it? It should be on the way. I'm not sure yet. Ah, oh, there it is, at the junction. How did I miss it coming down there? We're almost full though, so we'll be able to let that one continue. There we go, it's heading over in this direction. It may go through the crops, so I, I, I'm told that there is actually a setting to turn that off. I'll have to have a look. I'm not sure where it would be. We don't really want them in the crops. No, I can't see any setting for it, but I'm sure there is one somewhere. Hmm. No idea, but we'll go and empty this and then we'll get another tractor. Uh, yep, that one seems to be sorting itself out over there. In fact, I could even put it on course play. There we go, that one is actually going to go on its own. So it means we can jump to another machine. Uh, that one might be okay. We could do. I think we will. And we'll take this one, we'll turn all the diff lock and four wheel drive off, I always forget to do that, so it's a good time to do it. And we'll take this one over to the silage pits, which is the other side of the map, I think. Where am I? Oh, I'm up here! Oh no, it's not. Not too far. Now, we should be able to get up there before the other tractor comes back. If not, we'll just have to pull over for it. That's the same thatched cottage as off Chellington, I think. I do recognise it. It looks like one of Chellington. So as both of those are actually doing really well on their own, I'm going to start to clamp this on my own. Obviously really steep to begin with, but it will flatten off. It'll be nice and level at the end. And just noticing the inspector mod, the other tractor is about to set off. So we're at risk of having an accident. We need to keep an eye on the New Holland. Uh, yes, it's just finished. so. It will be now leaving the field, uh, which is actually really bad timing. For some reason the New Holland was going really slow in this yard, which is why it was so long. 
I don't know why it was doing that. I think overall my, my course play skills just aren't very good. I know there are a few tutorials out there, but there's not that many. And not very specific ones either for certain jobs. So it makes it quite difficult. I mean, I've mastered doing the forwards and backwards on the silage pit. That's easy. But, like in a tight yard like this, it's quite difficult. Seriously need to get, like, a JCB with a buck rake, though. It would look a lot better. It could have been worse. They met right at the junction. So not too bad in the end. Anyway, that one can go up to the harvester. You can see just over the hedge here. They're actually almost done. So probably in the next load on the Deutzfahr, that will be finished. Oh, better get out of the way or maybe just pull forwards. I'll just move out of the way for that one. And it should be able to tip. There we go, that one's on a course now. It's still really steep though. Four wheel drive is on. So that should be able to get on its own. And we'll go back in the Deutzfahr and we'll finish off the field. Yep, that seems to be working well. Right then, let's see what's been going on here. Let's, let's get in there. It's obviously managed it around the pylon, but it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit wiggly. But it's okay. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do any more whole crop harvesting like this again or whether I'll just do it the way which someone else suggested by doing a harvest with a combine first and then just picking up the straw. Um, or we could, I suppose, do it with a forage harvester. Uh, it just depends, I assume, on what everyone else wants me to do. There is a lot of turning around when you get to the end. Work it just, you know, it's always turning around, it doesn't really do much. And it's really slow at turning around, too. I probably should be in the harvester. Okay, the final cube, and then we're going to be done. After three episodes, it's taken so long, I can't believe it. But we're almost there. We've almost completed the field. And yeah, we shouldn't have a problem with fitting it in. 25%, I think that is probably enough space for that. Go on. Final bit there, wow, look at that. It was hardly worth turning around for. And then we've just got this bit over here, and then we are actually done. I think it's confused. I think we'll do it ourselves. It's probably easier. It's done the whole field and then it can't manage that little bit. Go away, go away, cosplay. I always open cosplay by accident. You can change the, the opening button for cosplay, but it always seems to default to right click. And there we go. So, finally, our field is done. It's taken a while, but thankfully, we can now say it's finished. And we'll just go and empty this. And next time, we will cover the silage pit over. And then we'll start on the next job, which I don't know what it will be yet. We might even have some sugar beet or potatoes which need to be harvested now. If we do, we could get a contractor in and start doing some harvesting there. Or we could just wait until the silage is done and then buy our own machinery. I don't really know what to do for the best. And I also do want to try out the composting as well. It looks like a good mod. So looking forward to all of that. 
up to the farm and then we're finished of course remembering to turn forward the drive off on the road I think I must turn it on by accident I only just noticed it was on it may have been when I was tipping I might have put it on then because we had to get up that, that um, silage pit the heap of silage was so steep at the beginning I had to put four wheel drive on and uh, it could have been on since then but yeah I always try and keep it off as much as I can but I always seem to manage to turn it on again so I don't know one of those things So yeah, the uh, Satex steering wheel comes out really soon, it's going to be amazing and I'm going to do an unboxing video, for those of you who keep asking, I will be doing one, uh, so don't worry about that and we'll probably be having a little bit of a first look at the Gold Edition as well, can't wait for that. Um, so they will all be coming up very very soon, so keep an eye out and I'll do those in separate videos, do a special one for the unboxing and setup and a special one for first look at gold edition keep it all separate and it should be amazing I can't wait for it uh, but there we go that is Melbury Estate today we have finally finished and it means that we can we can move on to a more exciting job next time so thanks for watching and bye for now